Mets owner Steve Cohen officially unveiling his vision for what's known as Metropolitan Park. So the proposal would transform 50 acres of parking lots around City Field into an $8 billion casino complex. All right, Fox 5's Lisa Everest takes a closer look at why some in the community aren't so thrilled. They're calling it Metropolitan Park. It's a major redevelopment plan led by Mets owner Steve Cohen to transform unused parking lots and other spaces around City Field into a major destination. The centerpiece would be a casino, but it's much more than that. The plan calls for a hotel, entertainment complex, affordable housing, a food court and mall for local businesses, a soccer stadium, and public park space. We hosted uh, an information session at our headquarters. There was at least five or six of them here at City Field, bringing in every walk of life from the religious community to the ethnic community to small businesses in a great bottom-up approach. No casino! Despite extensive outreach, there is opposition to this location in Flushing. Residents and community leaders rallied last spring, saying a casino would have a harmful impact on the neighborhood. We're happy to join today to speak out against how our community is being treated. Metropolitan Park would also bring more than 15,000 jobs, says Queens Chamber of Commerce President Tom Gretsch. He says it is a diverse and inclusive addition to the borough's economy. This is a great shot in the arm, and I've got to remind your, your viewers that this is all privately funded. There's not a, si a single dollar of city, state, or federal money here to build this thing and develop it, and so it's a great win for, for Queens County and New York City in general. There are various regulatory and political hurdles that must be overcome before Metropolitan Park can become a reality. The Queens Chamber of Commerce president says the most optimistic timeline would be three to five years. At City Field, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.